Hello everyone, hope you are fine. Today we will discuss about DMA controller. DMA controller 8257, RS232, null modem connection, line drivers, single ended transmission, differential transmission, and balance transmission. DMA controller. The term DMA stands for direct memory access. The hardware device used to direct memory access is called the DMA controller. DMA controller is a control, control unit and is a part of input output devices in interface circuit which can transfer blocks of data between input output devices and the main memory with minimal interruption from the processor. DMA controller provides an interface between the bus and the input output devices. Although it transfers data without intervention of processor, it is controlled by the processor. The processor initiates the DMA controller by sending the starting address, number of words in the data block and direction of transfer of data. For example, from IO devices to the memory or from memory to, um, from me main memory to the IO devices. More than one external device can be connected to the DMA controller. Let's discuss about DMA controller 8257. 8257 DMA is a 4 channel direct memory access. Here is a list of some of the prominent features of 8257. It has 4 channels which can be used over 4 I.O. devices. Each channel has 16 bit address and 14 bit counter. Each channel can transfer data up to 64 kilobyte. Each channel can be programmed independently. Each channel can perform read transfer, write transfer, and verify transfer operations. Each generation MARK, MARK signal to the peripheral device, device that uh, 128 bytes have been tra transferred. It requires a single phase clock. The frequency ranges from 250 Hz to 3 MHz. It operates in two modes, such as master mode and slave mode. RS232 RS232 connector is a port used for data exchange between equipments. It was designed for data exchange between DTE or PC and DCE or modem. DTE means data terminal equipment and DCE means data communication equipment. The need of RS232 came from limitations raised, up, raised by parallel data exchange. RS232 uses serial communication protocol where data exchange is done bit by bit. Although RS232 is later replaced by faster USB, it is still popular in some, in some areas. RS232 used to have 25 pin. Now it is minimized to just 9 pin. Features and, uh, features and specifications of RS232 RS232 uses asynchronous communication, so no clock is shared between PC and modem. The logic was the, the logic has wide voltage range giving convenience for user. MAX232 IC can be installed easily to, uh, to establish RS232 interface with microcontrollers. Full duplex interface of RS232 is very convenient. Two pin simplex RS232 interface can also be established easily if required. A maximum data transfer speed uh, of 
19 kilobits per second is possible through RS232. A maximum current of 500 mA can be drawn from pins of RS232. The interface can be established up to a distance of 50 feet. Null modem connection. What is a null modem? Null modem is a communication method to directly connect two DTEs, that is two data terminal equipments that we can tell um, as computer, terminal, point, um, sorry, printer, etc. And this connection is uh, used using, using RS232 serial cable. Null modems allow creation of a connection between two computers that doesn't have modems by way of their RS232 protocol. The RS232 protocol was originally used to, uh, to connect a telephone modem to a teletape machine. The teletapes communicated to each other uh, through the modems. This asymmetric connection using the RS232 required a modem on one side and a data source or consumer at the another side. Null modem connections are not standardized allowing for multiple possible wiring configurations. In this type of connection, the transmission and reception lines are connected crosswise, enabling two-way data transmission. As we have seen, null modem connections are made possible through the use of a null mode, null mode cable. This is the simplest solution to connecting the two computers. But what is a null modem cable? The cable is comprised of three lines. One line serves as a single ground, signal ground with the other two lines adopting the transmitting and receiving of your data. Based on the software used in this connection, some kind of authentication hand, authenticating hand, handshake may be necessary. A line driver is an electronic amplifier circuit designed for driving a load such as a transmission line. The amplifier's output impedance may be matched to the characteristic in impedance of the transmission line. Line drivers are commonly used within digital systems such as to communicate digital signals across circuit board traces and cables. In analog audio, a line driver is typically used to drive line level analog signal outputs, for example, to connect a music player to an amplified speaker system. Single ended signaling is the simplest and the most commonly used method for trans transferring electrical signals over wires. One wire carries a varying voltage that presents the signal while the another wire is connected to a reference voltage, usually ground. The main advantage of single-ended over differential signaling is that fewer wires are needed to transmit multiple signals. If there are n, n signals, then there are n plus 1 wires. One for is signal and one for ground. A disadvantage of single-ended signaling is that the return currents from for all the signals use the same conductor. Even if separate ground wires are used, the grounds are uh, connected together at each end, and this can sometimes cause interference or that we can talk it as crosstalk. Crosstalk may happen between the signals. Single-ended signaling is widely used and can be seen in numerous common transmission standard including RS232 serial communications, PS2 mouse and keyboard connectors, I2C serial bus, TTL circuit, CMOS logic circuit, CEL circuits, etc.
The differential transmission method uses two signal lines to flow opposite phase currents and performs transmission using the potential difference between the signal lines. External noise affects the plus side and the negative side lines equally. The differential transmission considers only the potential difference between the signal lines. So, the effect of the noise is cancelled making it more difficult for operation errors to, apply, <coughs> to occur. Differential transmission lines do not easily emit EMI noise but a certain level of common mode Common mode noise is unavoid, unavoidable due to variation of the driver IC reference potential and asymmetry of the transmission lines. For this reason, there are also requests for parts that reduce common mode noise. Common mode mm, coils are developed as noise filters. In addition to EMI noise, some effects common mode uh, coils also act as transformers to correct signal asymmetry. So there are also waveform shape, uh, shaping effects. And now balance transmission. Balance transmission uses a cable with a twisted pair of conductors. One of the pair carries a signal that is positive data and another uh, carries the opposite signal known as the B signal and this is called negative data. A typical balance transmitter drives both positive and negative conduct, um, signal that is both A and B conductor to send is bot. A digital one is sent out when a wire is a higher potential than the B wire. The digital zero is sent out when A wire is a lower potential than the B wire. A balanced signal means there is no net redirected signal and, uh, along the cable length. Such as the A and B signals effectively channel one uh, can effectively cancel one another out. At the receiver, this app offers good immunity to external interface. Any interfacing signal would change both signals equally. EIA 485, which is used to be called as RS485, is a standard that uses balanced transmission to provide a differential output across a um, 55 ohm cable using a 5 volt signal. It provides reliable data transmission even under severe signal degradation across the cable and connectors. The robustness is the main reason why EIA 485 is well suited for long distance usually in, in, use, uses in potentially noisy environment. That's all for today. Thank you.